Today, I'm going to show you how you can use a wired thermometer on a rotisserie. Welcome back to Barbecue Life UK, where good barbecue doesn't cost a fortune. Today, we're going to be using a wired thermometer on a only fire rotisserie. Now, if you've got a Weber rotisserie, you are going to need a little accessory, but I'll explain that in a little while. But I'm going to show you why you don't need to spend a fortune on wireless probes, and you can use your wired thermometer that you've had for a while on a rotisserie. Stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So with the only fire rotisserie, you get this that sits on the end that kind of locks everything in place. But if you thread the wire through, like so, and then take your rotisserie skill, it's not easy to do on camera, and thread this through, like this, and then I'll take you over to the rotisserie and I'll show you the rest. Then we go on with our first fork. So the wire is going to sit through, and then our probe is on this end. So just keep pulling our probe wire through. So our probe wire is coming through that bit little locator. And then we've got our tip end where we're just going to go into the breast. All this excess wire you need to pull back through. So that you've not got a lot of wire hanging about inside the kettle. As you can see it's coming through here. So then the excess we just want to wind around the handle a bit. Keeping it tight down one end if we can. And then we've got our unit, plug that in, switch it on. And then that is going to sit here. But we've got some elastic bands, just reposition you slightly. So if we get an elastic band that we wrap around, double up, because this is going to spin on here as everything is going round. So again, go at an angle. It's not the prettiest of things, but it works an absolute treat. Double this one over first. But that sits on there like that, and then when we turn it on, everything will rotate together. So a bit of freehand. So there's a chicken, and there's our thermometer. There it is just coming round, and that wire is running along the shaft as it turns. It's running along all the way out. We wrap round, and there's a thermometer all attached where we can monitor our temperature. So that is the easiest way to set up a rotisserie without having to use a wireless thermometer. If this video has been of any value to you, please do make sure you subscribe and check out my other content.